Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Tuesday, the 2nd of October. Oh. <laughs> yeah, October? Wow. It is Tuesday, the 2nd of February, 2022. Uh, it's going on 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It is 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is at 54%. 23 degrees Celsius. So it's a rather nice day. For a, a February here in Florida. I will take it. Skies are blue, white clouds, like white fluffy clouds. It's a really nice, kind of pretty day today. So, uh, the other day, when I stopped for sodas. They didn't have any regular ginger ale, so I went with the diet ginger ale. Now, this got a funny taste to it. And it had an adverse reaction in my gut. So basically, I bought myself a cleanse. Yeah, if you get my drift. Man. So, luckily it's, well, there's still one bottle left in the refrigerator. But I didn't use it this morning. I came out here, I know I had a couple regular ginger ales out here still. Oh, man. Yeah. I won't do that again. So. Let's see. I had a couple of questions. Yeah, that's okay. Just come on through. It was my right away. Uh, I've had a couple. I had a couple of questions yesterday. Or last night or this morning or something. Um. Uh, Number one, about my sunglasses. Uh, I always have at least two. Uh, come on. Two pairs of sunglasses up here on the visors. On both vehicles. Uh, probably more. I've got another. I can see another pair down there on the dashboard. At least one. Um. The question was, what type of sunglasses are they? What brand name or whatever? Um, no. Doc don't do that. Uh, mostly Home Depot specials. You see them at, you know, when you check out at Home Depot, they're uh, I don't know, like eight or nine dollars. So that's what, that's what I'll grab. Occasionally I'll see a pair that I like somewhere else. But definitely cheap sunglasses, like ZZ Top Sings. Um, it's just, I, I break glasses, I, I lose glasses. I mean, if you put your window down, turn your head just right, boom, your glasses are gone. You know? If you're riding a bike, boom, your glasses are gone. If you're out on a boat, boom, your glasses are gone. I'm not, I'm not wearing $300 Oakley's. $400 Oakley's or whatever. It's like my knives. I don't carry a high dollar knife because I abuse them. I'll use it. I'll use it to jump a, a battery cable or to cut a battery cable and jump a solenoid. I'll use the, 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 the blade end to scrape a front of a rod. A knife is a tool. If it's too expensive, you don't use it. So, down here, these are a must. If I happen to break one, I've got another pair. I've got another two pair. And yeah, they're, they're inexpensive. So, uh, there's that. The other question was, have I been to Savannah? 
And, uh, yeah, I've been to Savannah. I like Savannah. Savannah, Georgia. Savannah's about... Well, depending, depending on the time of day and how I'm feeling, it's about a two-hour run. So, when we were moving down here, uh, 30 plus years ago, we pulled off at Savannah, at the Savannah exit, to get a motel room or a hotel room. Uh, finally found, this was, this was pre, pre-internet days, and we finally found one somewhere on the outskirts. I don't remember exactly where. I know it was a kind of mustardy yellow hotel. Had all these big trees around it. Price was right. Accommodations were decent. Since then, Savannah is a great, is a, is a nice little place to go and explore. I like going to the big cemetery. Um, and there, there's other there's other places around. Been uh, just just recently coming home from uh, uh, North Carolina. Um, I went to a to a restaurant there, a trailer park. With my daughter and her family. That was really nice. I've been to a couple of other places down there, but mainly Savannah is a nice ride. So I have done it. The old, the old Miss and I had just, you know, in order to get out of the house, we've hopped in the car and driven to Savannah, stopped at the Waffle House, got coffee and you know maybe something to eat, and then driven home. So. I mean, is that really going to Savannah? Eh, not really. But, I mean, sometimes that's all we did was actually just drive up there, hit the Waffle House and go home. Other times we'd get up there and just, you know, spend an hour or two riding around, looking and, looking and seeing. You never know exactly what you're going to find if you just driving, you know, by random. We do the same thing in St. Augustine. Uh, drive to St. Augustine and just, you know, get off the beaten path. Find the non-tourist areas. Orlando, we do that. Uh, so yeah, I've been to, I've been to Savannah several times. I haven't been there to Boondock, although that's on my on my to-do list, once I get Sherry set back up and I get the right time, maybe sometime in September, early October, when the weather's right, uh, I'll come up and boondock and see Sherry. I know there's a couple of really nice places in the cemetery, in the big cemetery. Uh, to set up and make lunch or dinner. A couple of, couple of areas with like really nice views of the water. I don't think it's the Savannah River. I'm not sure what water, what river runs through there, creek or whatever. So yeah, I've been there, and I'll and I'll go back. It's just like I said, it's, it's about a two-hour trip, maybe two and a half hours, depending. I mean, I have done it faster. But definitely on my on my list of places to visit. I hope that answered those two questions. Now, last yesterday when I got to I 
owner's house. The oldest grandson was home. So, left him in charge of the two littles, which he's been doing for most of their lives. He is a great big brother. He will make a fantastic father. I think he'll take after his dad. So, no, no qualms about me leaving them with him. But that means I didn't do my laundry. You know? No sense to be sitting there for the half hour, 45 minutes, whatever it takes for the laundry to, to do. So, I ended up, went to, I had to, had to go get get had to go get gas in, in this, filled it up, take, it took $56 or something, 17 gallons, uh, $3.11 a gallon. Then I took some paperwork out to my brother, sat out there for a little bit, and yacked with him, and then Went and did my laundry at the uh, at the park. The laundromat. Excuse me. So wasn't too bad. I had loaded up my laundry basket to go to the daughter's house because she has an extra large uh, an extra large machine. And then I got there and got to the laundromat and thought, I don't want to overload these machines. Although they're the they're commercial, they're not real big. So I ended up just going ahead and splitting my load into two. I know that doesn't sound all that great. Uh, I broke the load into two. It cost me a little bit more money, but oh well. I got them done, got them all, put them in the dryer. Boom, bada, bim. I did a little bit around the house, a little pick up here and there. Uh, I'm down to basically needing a heavy duty brooming in the, the one bedroom area down the hallway. But, uh, Get on that, and then I'll tackle that one dresser and the open drawer that I keep putting stuff in. Use it more as a shelf. <coughs> oh, ah. All right, so we're at the end of the run. I appreciate y'all coming along for the ride. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fantastic. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I see you all again. I hope you have a fantastic day. Watch, y'all. Ah.